Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We're especially interviewing a young woman who is doing amazing work in the film space. A lot of you fell in love with her from Hotel Majestic. Some others fell in love with her after seeing her amazing character in Najochi. And I can't wait to explore how that experience was for her. We're joined by Shaliwa Ashafa, aka Shaliwa Star. Hi. Hi, Shaga. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank Welcome you. Welcome back from the whole drama. Of Welcome Ajoche. back from the jungle, actually. I know. <laughs> so, in fact, let's just go straight into that Ajoche gist. Uh -huh. How was the experience? Okay, so I like to tell people that I will never change their experience. I promise you I was not paid to do this. I will never change their experience for anything, but it wasn't easy. I'm not even going to lie. It wasn't easy the late nights, the early mornings, the journey to and fro, the insects we had to deal with, the shooting conditions. Where were you living? We weren't even in the jungle. <laughs> so we we were camped in an estate. They camped us in an estate, and our set wasn't too far from that place. So sometimes we would just walk. But there were times that we had to, like, go, like, drive, like, a long distance to get to our other sets. But it wasn't too far from set, so it was convenient for us. But then there were times that you can't, you can't be in camp for a week stretch or for, like, a month stretch. You get so, like, during the weekend, we'll just go back home. We leave by like Saturday, Monday morning, we're back, we're there till the next Saturday. But yeah, that, that, that was it. Just many insect bites and many snakes and many... Did snake bites anybody on set? No. No insects, no... Cause insects beat us. Like there were lots of insects and infections because obviously we're walking barefoot, we're in the mud and all, but snake bites, no. And we saw lots of snakes, so I don't know how that managed to happen, but... Here we are. I'm sure when you decided that you wanted to pursue a career in, in the movie space, yeah. you did not figure that one day you'd have to wear wrapper on your chest and be inside the heart of the forest, shooting and avoiding snakes and dipping your leg inside the swamp. So let me tell you, let me let me give you the, the <laughs> gist. So when I got the call for a judge, they were like, oh, it's an epic, it's a this, it's a 260 episode. I'm like, yeah, I've done that before. It's it's no big deal. I've done 260s before. No, 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 no. And they were just looking at me like, this one does not know what she's coming into. This one doesn't know what she's coming into. <laughs> <laughs> know what she's coming into. My first week on that set, see, like, this part of my body was black. Like, from here upwards, black. And then this part was, like, very white. So I could see the tan lines. That was just one week. So imagine having to do that for one year. It wasn't easy. So I had to deal with sunburns. I had to deal with, like, um, skin conditions. Like, at some point, like, our skin started, like, scaling or peeling. I, I can't call it skin. I think peeling. So never in my life would I have thought that I would be in that kind of thing. And even if I thought that I was going to be in something like that, I would not have been able to predict how intense it would have been. But... I'm, 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 I'm I mean, still look happy at you. About the Here you are, superstar girl. <laughs> Let's talk about the. Can you remember your very first welcome into the movie industry? Did you have to do an audition? How did it happen? Okay, so um, I have a family friend who um, he's he's a he's a well known person on stage, and I was very little. I was nine, and he he just I was just in my room playing and. I didn't know anything, just playing with my toys. And he just came and he was like, you, do you want to act? I was like, uh, am, I, am, I, am I going to be with Obotala and Genevieve? And he's like, yes. He's like, I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh yeah, dress up. I'm going to National Theatre. So my first ever experience was on stage, but I had to stop that for a while because my mom, well, I wouldn't say my mom, my brothers, they felt like it was affecting school. And it was in the way, and it was, in quotes, getting to my head. So I had to stop. I think I stopped at age 10. So I did it for just one year. But in that one year, it felt like I did a lot. Because I did voiceovers. I did stage plays and all. Then I stopped. Then after I finished secondary school, during my gap year, that same person, he was like, ah, instead of you just sitting at home, why don't you just start acting again? Don't you think you want to start Everybody acting Everybody needs again? a family friend like this, so. Yeah. Well, no, well, 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 not really, because he was like, don't you want to start acting again? And I'm like, yeah, I want to. And he's like, okay, do you know what's that? Um, there's an audition that is going to happen for one very big TV series that just do, do it. And why don't you go for it? Just try it. And I was like, okay, do you have any friends there? He's like, yeah, but he can't put in word because if he puts in word, it's now be like a case of special. I was like, okay, all right, no problem. I'll go. 
long and short, I went for it, and I didn't get a call back till one year later. <laughs> I didn't get a call back till, till one year later. So that one, I had even forgotten about it. I had, in short, it was at the back. I didn't even, I, I just got a call one random afternoon. And I was like, hi, is this Charlie Oh, we're calling you from blah, 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 blah. And of course, it's a big TV series. It's a well-known TV series. I was, I was... I went bonkers and I just started screaming. And they're like, okay, you need to calm down because it's not, it's not, it's, it's not a very... Was that for Hotel Majestic? No, it was for Tinsel. Oh, really? You yes, I said, I said I was Tinsel. So they're like, you, 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 you need to calm down because it's not a very major character. I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Just give me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to act. The day, there are no small roles. There are no small you know, roles. You only small actors. Yeah, because you don't know who is looking. You don't know what can put you where. Do you understand? So, but this is quite encouraging. I'm glad you shared that because you. you did an audition and you mm -hmm. got called one year one after. Year later, for yeah. many people who are throwing themselves and mm -hmm. out and you know throwing their talent out and thinking nobody's noticing me. They're yeah. not calling me. I hope that that part of Shalewa's story encourages you to let you know that. <laughs> I they can so still too. call you back one year later. Yes, they Now, can. you recently worked on the series Life As It Is. How yes. was the experience doing that? Okay, so um, <laughs> Life As It Is was, it was, um, let's call it a, we'll call it, it was, how can I say, it was different. It's nothing, so anyone who knows me knows I'm a very gra gra all over the place kind of person you understand so when i got the call for life as it is it and i read the script i was like okay this is going to be hard because this character is stupid and she's naive and she has no experience she hasn't like she's just she just goes with the wind she just does so is it direct like, opposite of your personality direct opposite of my personality so i was like i, I don't know but let's do it Yay! We can achieve it. Which, which, um, the producer and the director. She was like, "I really want you to play this." I'm like, "Okay, all right, let's try it." And we, I winged it, and it came out looking good. I can't, I can't lie that. Oh, I put in a lot of thought process into playing this character. I know, like, I actually, I was winging it the whole time because I wasn't sure of myself. I wasn't sure that I was able to portray that character very well. So, getting the kind of feedback that I got was really, really encouraging. So. Shooting it was fun. It, okay. It wasn't like a judge. It wasn't like, it's, it was, I was in AC. And Let's all, all get to be the judge of <laughs> if Shalewa aced it or not. We have a sneak peek of our performance in Life as it is. Check it Yay. out. Scenes <laughs> with Shalewa yes. Ashafa. Nice. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Looked really, really good. Ah, uh, well, thank you. <laughs> what would you say has been your most cha challenging character, however? Um... It has to be a a movie for TV that I did very recently titled Sight. In I, you were in it, <laughs> you were in it, yes. <laughs> and you know my character was your character, my character was bonkers. It was very I I've, I've never done anything like that before, <laughs> and I like I like how um people I haven't been um type casted exactly in the industry like people just always cast me for. All sorts of rules, and I really like it. But sight, I, I was seeing visions. <laughs> I had to behave like I was insane. So that was really hard for me to do. But I really liked it. It was a good experience. Brilliant, Charlie. Well, we know that you're pursuing a career. You know, doing that with school and doing uh, many things. How are you able to handle it? I don't know. <laughs> I promise you. But I never have an answer to this question. It's the question I get asked the most how I'm able to balance school with work. I, I will just say I'm very thankful for the kind of friends I have. Shout out to my friends, Victor, Toby, Buki, Princess. Shout out to you guys. I'm very thankful to them because they're the ones that are always there. Like, whenever I'm not around, like, oh, okay, oh, okay, don't worry, we've sent, oh, God, my lecturers are going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whenever you have tests coming up, they'll be like, they'll tell me whenever I have tests coming up. How do you prepare for tests? When, how do I prepare do you for take, tests? like, your I books to... It. Oh, really? I, I actually wing it, like... I'm literally just coming from set and I'm just, I'm cramming everything in my head because my notes are always very bulky and there's so many things to learn, you understand? So I'm always just, well, that's coupled with the fact like I have a bit of experience in the field that, in um, in the course that I'm studying. I have a bit of experience. So sometimes I just apply sense, eh, come out with a B or a C. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. We'll go on a quick break. Let's pay some bills and we'll come back with wrapping up the conversation with Shaliwa Shafa. Please don't go away. <laughs>
Welcome back. We're still speaking with Shalewa Ashafa, actor, and the face, a sweet face in Hollywood that has not yet been typecasted. What happens if you start to notice, notice that they're trying to typecast you? I'll just stop accepting some of the roles. I'll, I'll just... I'll, I'll put it out there. I think I don't want to say anything that will get me in trouble. <laughs> Better be safe. Yeah, Better that, be safe than be sorry. Yes, that's right. But that's yeah, um, luckily I haven't been typecasted. So I think that's good. People should see my talent now and they should see how flexible I am with some of these characters. Any regrets, Chaliwa? Any regrets? Career-wise? None. None. None whatsoever. Every, everything was a learning. It was a learning process for me. All the mistakes and everything. I, have, I won't say I've made major mistakes like that but everything was a learning process so none whatsoever okay we know that you're balancing your acting career with school like we're talking about mm -hmm. before we went on the break what are you studying i'm studying mass communication so what are what are the plans for the future do you plan to go into presenting or broadcasting at some point or okay, so i've had um at some point uh, i'm saying at some point like this was like just last year i've always had like very big dreams to work in advertising and I like to believe I'm very, I'm a very creative person and like, I'm very good at strategy. So I, I really wanted to push advertising at some point. It's still kind of the things on my bucket list to work in an ad agency and then create a very successful campaign. But yeah. Will I'm, you call me when you're creating the campaign? Yeah, why not? <laughs> And Why not? kudos to that. There's no one Thank that says you. you can't be a superstar actress or actor and then pursue a career in advertising. Yes. So you can be everything that you want everything to be. Everything that I want to be. Who would you say are some of your favorite actors to have worked with? Um, first of all, shout out to all my Adjeche people. <laughs> you don't want to get into trouble. I don't want to get into trouble. Shout out to all my Adjeche people. I've, I've, been, I've been privileged to work with... Um, very professional people, people who are very good at what they do, people who know what they are there for. You understand? So even trying to think of favorites right now, I don't... Okay, I actually... I, will, I won't put you on the spot. No, not even, not even that. Like, I actually can't bring up... Because you know when you've worked with too many good people and for some reason, I don't know, people keep casting me with these people because you know how the industry is. They only want to cast the A-list with the A-list and the A-list, but they cast me with the A-list, and I, I think that that's... And how does that make you feel? <laughs> you ever felt like, you know, you've been on the set and you're thinking, what am I doing on this table? These people are not in my class. So I don't feel that way. I do, I, some, maybe initially I used to, but I don't feel that way anymore because I know what I'm bringing to the table. I know what I'm bringing to the table, and I know I'm not just there to just sit and look pretty. You understand? I know that I'm good at what I do, and I put in... I put in a lot. I put in a lot into my craft. So. How does your family feel about what you do? They are good. <laughs> <laughs> that they are good. Sounded. No, actually, so let me tell you. So my mom initially wanted me to be like a doctor or like work or be like um, 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 working in politics, you know, one big politician or one human rights activist kind of thing. And I'm like, <laughs> No. <laughs> but how does she feel now when she watches you? She's TV? proud of me. Exactly. She brags about me to every single person. So she takes me to work and she's like, ah, that's my daughter, the actress. Ah. <laughs> she's Friends. the one you were watching on TV yesterday. Friends are the absolute best. <laughs> that's my But initially they are telling you, no, 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 you should do this. Yeah. Be a lawyer, be a doctor, be an accountant, be an engineer. I'm glad that it's starting to mm -hmm. change. I was and lucky. Exactly. That she was able to open her mind to the kind of things I wanted to achieve for myself. And she didn't just cage me into what she felt I should be. Being that you were a child actor mm -hmm. and now you are an adult actor, mm -hmm. there are many parents who have talented kids as well but yeah. are afraid to allow their kids explore mm -hmm. their talents because of fear of quote-unquote exposure. Exposure. What would you say to parents like that? Um, don't hide your child's talent. Don't, don't bury your child's talent because you don't know. You don't know where it can take them to or what it can lead to. You can't risk, you can't say that, oh, I'm afraid of exposure. I don't know. No, you don't know what you're going to get from it. Don't bury that child's talent. But how do you manage it in a way that, like you said, at some point they had to stop you because mm -hmm. they felt it was getting into getting your into head. Getting into my head. So how do, how do they manage it? Do you think that there are ways that they can go around this? Well, Nigerian parents, you know, don't let it get into your head. Uh, simple. I'm joking. <laughs> um, yes, you have to, in this day and age, which is, it's, it's worse than it was for me then because now you have social media, 
everyone recognizes you, do you understand? Then you, you're also popular on Instagram and all those kind of things. So everyone sees you. So when you're going to school, your teachers know you, students know you and everything. I feel like it's up to the parents to know how to curb, to curb um, how the child is able to deal with attention and how the child is able to manage all those things. Like just, I don't know, just always find a way to level them back. I think at the end of the day, it's dependent on the personality of each child. So what works for me might not work for you as a child. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Finally, Shale, before we let you go, what are some of the improvements that you'd like to see in the Nigerian movie industry? Um, oh, Olivia puts me on this spot. <laughs> okay, um, okay maybe you can just mention one or let two. Let me just uh, mention one. If um, you could wave a magic wand and everything is just perfect, what would that, what would that mean to you? Where do I start from? All the things I wanted to get very controversial. <laughs> okay, um, let me think of something. Structure. Structure. Um, that's the payment method, how things work, the process that it goes through, you understand? And yeah. Just structure. Very interesting and structure. very valid point. Very valid. And also because there's a lot of pressure on actors. Actors yeah. are in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. You're in front of the camera. People it's, always assume that you have all the money all in the, the money, world. All the money. All the money in the world. They don't realize that. All the, no, it's not. The money is actually Tony no. Onion. Structure. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you for your story me. with us, Shaliwa. All the best. Thank Keep you. Keep conquering the Nollywood scene. Looking forward to seeing your many more fi movies. I'm looking forward to doing many more movies with Do you as well. <laughs> I Thank actually you. enjoyed working, you know, with, working me. with you. I enjoyed working with you too. Oh, it's too sweet. <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.